and to start understanding kind of what the characteristics of well-functioning cities are. What are the characteristics that, that we like, whether it's being uh, uh, the walkability, pedestrian uh, accessibility, the types of uh, you know, commercial and retail venues that we're looking for. You can start analyzing cities as complex systems and develop an understanding of the metrics that we'd like to look at. And we can look at the social and the economic and the environmental and spatial characteristics that really support well-functioning urban environments. And we can start to build, to building consensus around an analytical process as opposed to anecdotal, using evidence-based instead of antidote to uh, uh, make decisions. And we've seen this in our work uh, in many cities, whether it's in Cambridge, Massachusetts, or uh, uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, by just talking about the world that we live in today. And that this is the world that we used to, this is how we used to understand the world. It was one that was really emphasized by borders and boundaries. But I think we have to start looking at the world in a new way, and it's much more networked, much more collective way that emphasizes how we're all interconnected and how we can start learning from us, and that data can be that common language that we can really start spreading common understanding of what makes well-functioning urban environments.